Sophie Gregoire Trudeau and the Prime Minister are a couple that define themselves in part as feminists. But a post on social media by Gregoire Trudeau on the eve of International Women's Day has sparked some controversy. In it, Gregoire Trudeau says, Let's celebrate the boys and men in our lives who encourage us to be who we truly are and ask people to take a photo holding hands with a man in their life and share it. That unleashed outrage. One person wrote, Shameful, really. I think I'll be taking photos with my daughters, female friends, and colleagues instead. Another said, Are you kidding? I support the men in my life 365 days a year. And frankly, it's time to celebrate the mothers and sisters and daughters who have to fight every day to support and advance women's causes. But today, Gregoire Trudeau defended her post. If boys and men aren't part of the equation where we learn from one another, have truthful conversations, and complement one another, we will not achieve the prosperity and peace that we deserve as human beings. Some took to Facebook to support her. This is about acknowledging human beings, not sexes, one person said. Another writing, wow, someone acknowledges men on International Women's Day and all the women flip out. Our goal is equality. But the opposition see the photo with Justin Trudeau as a way for the Liberals to score political points by playing up his feminist image. It looked like the PMO sat around and said, how can we make International Women's Day about a photo of Justin Trudeau? Then the Liberal Party had Grégoire Trudeau write a fundraising letter using International Women's Day to raise money. I think it's very touchy when you make a fundraising related to an event that is no partisan. International Women's Day should not be about political parties. When the PM was asked about it. On International Women's Day. While the Prime Minister didn't respond, the Liberal Party did, saying that the money will go towards electing female MPs. Liberal female MPs. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Ottawa.